Hi, today we are actually not trying to fix any bug in particular, but I still want to do a devlog because I want to understand better the code we currently have regarding a behavior that I think doesn't work well enough for the user. That is changing the size, um, sorry, the side, the screen side of the panels. Look at here, if I try to change this like very uh, many times in a row, it just fails. And there are many bugs related to this. As an example, sometimes it doesn't actually return back to the um, normal um, length, but it gets shorter. And I wasn't able to reproduce it. I think it might be something regarding maybe the panel not being full width from the beginning and when you actually like go around doing this terrible stuff, it just breaks. But for me right now it's working, so, but in general it seems to be much, much lower than it should be. So let's try to dive in and see just how does it work. Because sometimes there are some things that are slow and you can't do anything about them. But who knows, first of all, we need to give a look into it. So. KD source and uh, KD, sorry, KDE workspace. And it's probably either Plasma Desktop or Workspace. I think Desktop is the right one here. Desktop package, contents, views, panel. Well, this is the small, let's say, small file about the panel. It is rather small, so I don't think it's the one that uh, actually interests us, although it's part of the panel. If you're confused about this, I think I did a video about views and container containments, and there I talked about uh, why we have two different, three actually, three different files for the panel. But let's actually go pick up the um, next one which I don't remember, containments, panel, this one, contain, UI, main, UI, this one, okay. So, let's see uh, what's in this file. And as you can see, I'm using the CSD looking thingy hack that I've shown in my last video. I don't, I don't think I'm going to keep it, but I did it so I should also suffer from it. So, uh, first of all, you can see that there's a property ball, he's horizontal, which is plasmoid form factor, um, isn't vertical, makes sense. In this case, uh, my guess is that uh, the C++ code is changing form factor depending on the side of the screen. But to actually see how it's changing the screen side, we need to go to the component that actually does it, which is of course the thingy that you drag around. And it is not in main QML, it is in config overlay. What is config overlay? If I remember correctly, it should be this thingy above the panel with this screen edge button. So let's see if I indeed re recall correctly. We should have screen, um, what was it? Screen edge. Screen edge, okay, so we do not have that. Very nice, screen edge, as you can see, it's not here, it's red. But we can still search through the file files to see. Well, also let me see if I don't know, like, is remove button, sorry, remove panel here because it's also move panel. Okay, so it's not. Um, although we do get this, which I think is uh, remove configure uh, show alternatives. It should be the hover thingy you get, like this one. Remove uh, configure show alternatives. Yes. Uh, what else? Here we have code to handle dragging panels, um, sorry, widgets around, and we don't have anything about the edit view. So maybe it's in main QML. Let's see here, remove panel. Of course, it's not. Nothing is ever in the place you would expect. 
let's um, do a search for that string that we're looking for, which is screen edge and any name or location, but we want containing tag screen edge. No file contains that. Okay, so that's very nice. We take a step back and search um, more widely, still nothing, okay. So let's search in the entire Plasma desktop repository. It has to be there. It will probably take a while, but it has to be there. So we do get edge angle, looking good. It looks like an edge angle, so maybe it makes sense. And also look at here, the subfolder is desktop package, contents, configuration, panel configuration. So it looks like we found it. So let's go into that folder. I could have just clicked on it, but um, it's prettier to just open it up to remember where it is. Desktop edge, contents, configuration, panel configuration. It's full of stuff in here. Why do we have a folder and... Okay. So, edge endo, which is exactly what we were looking for. So, we got a button with this text, with this icon, blah, 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 blah. A tool tip, which is click and drag the button to a screen edge to move the panel there. Thank you, makes sense. And then there is this mouse event listener, which sounds like what we're looking for. So, what does this do? Last X, last Y, start mouse X, start mouse Y. We're probably looking for drugs. On pressed, we record the... Okay, what's the difference between mouse screen X and mouse X? Maybe one is relative to the screen and one to the panel. I don't know. I could Google it, but it's not very important right now. So I leave the mystery. Is this recording? Hey, yeah, you're recording. Everything is recording. Okay. Uh, mouse, screen X, blah, 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 blah. Is if the mouse is in internal rectangle, do nothing. So if it's like here, you don't see my here, but if it's in the middle, don't do anything, makes sense. I do expect an else. Or maybe this is, okay, so I guess this is if it's in a border rectangle, that's what the if is saying. It does nothing if it ignores the, the thing. So we check where it is and we set this variable new location to either top edge, right edge, left edge, bottom edge. Okay. And then switch new location. If it's on the top, then var y equals math max mouse screen y minus map to item dialog root zero start mouse. What? Okay, so I'm not sure what. Ah, so it's taking the y. Okay, so it's replacing the coordinate of the config dialog. Okay, makes sense. And then, uh, what does this do? That's it. New location, and that's it. That's all it does. That doesn't sound enough. It should probably set this new location variable to ah here panel dot location equals new location. So what is panel? Panel is one thing I hate about QML is that it doesn't allow you to understand where a variable is from. Like, what is panel? Where? What uh, is its type? Come on. Uh, it should be a panel, but is this like this panel or is it another one? It's probably the C++ panel view thingy, I guess. Let's see if uh, location, do we have a location here? It's 
probably containment. So property. Actually, no property. In here, the only location seems to be this one. This one. Okay. So in here is only reading the location of the containment. So it's probably referring to the location of the containment. And the containment is handled through, I don't remember. Um, I probably should review. With Plasma 6, I will review the, the status quo of the Plasma API. But um, we are doing some, uh, we're going forward with our investigation. We should now check where is the containment. This one is the view, right? This is the view. And this one is the containment, but it's probably referring to the C++ uh, containment code. If we check for location here, there's nothing. And it was called location here, right? Yes. So it's probably C++ stuff. So let's go fetch them. It's in Plasma workspace here, shell, panel view, panel. Oh, there's also panel config view, interesting. But I was only looking for panel view C++, panel view H, and why not pine panel view config view C++. So that we have all of the interesting files. Where is my sidebar with uh, in, uh, with all the files? Where is my sidebar? Views, tools, views, show documents. Yes, this one. Thank you. Okay. So let's look into here. So here we've got, I think, two objects. Uh, no, just one, which is panel view, which is uh, a containment view. And let's uh, see if location, there's nothing about location here. So, uh, and nothing here. Uh, there's also, there's something here. Interesting. What is panel config view? Panel config view is a config view. Thank you. Now we got to fetch those classes to understand a bit better what's going on. So let's see, uh, this looks, looks like a rather short file. So let's give a look, blah, 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 blah. This looks very ugly. <laughs> A valid script, okay. Sync geometry, sync location. Okay, let's see sync lo location. If it doesn't have a containment return. Okay, we know uh, blah, 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 blah. This is not interesting. See, it's just using the location of the containment. I think that's what we were interested in. Yeah, this um, sync location doesn't interest us at all. So, we're only interested in finding out about the containment uh, containment view. Where is the containment view file? I don't know. It's in Plasma Quick. Uh, is this a Plasma framework thing? Let's find out. Plasma. I mean, it's probably containment. No, it's totally. Um, frameworks so plasma framework and we search for kfind kfind is like one of the most useful things ever containment view is not here seriously oh come on <sighs> Containment view. Had I case sensitive? Why didn't Why didn't you find 
containment view. So let's open these two up. I said, let's open these two up. Let's start with the H file and we should have location here. We do. Very interesting. So uh, there's a location and basically nothing particularly weird going on. We just have a function to read the location, a function to set the location, a signal, if you don't know what signals are, so I uh, suggest looking into QT, QT, QT documentation, a signal when the location cha is changed, and that's it. So code-wise, it shouldn't be surprising at all, but let's give it a look anyway. Uh, we switch from a uh, to, from the .h file to the .c++ file because the .h file is the header file which only contains the declarations of stuff. It's sort of of um, how do you say this? A summary of the code, and then there's the C++ which contains the let's say actual stuff. So we have here. If the old location is different from the new one, then emit that the location has changed. Normal stuff. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That's it. Okay, so that's pretty nice, actually. That's pretty clean. So we only have a way to read, read the location which mean, and write it which means that we have edge handle, which sets the panel location. And then this goes into the containment view C++. It changes the location and it throws off a signal, which changes everything that's based upon uh, panel.location in QML, because I don't think there's any C++ code handling rotation and this, or not rotation, um, edge screen changing at this point. So it's QML and QML only. So as an example here, we've got uh, location, switch um, containment location and this thing. Is this the only use of location? I know I've just searched, but um, on containment changed containment okay so look at here containment location change connect adjust prefix what does this mean well in uh, this adjust prefix thingy we've got a switch that uh, acts upon containments dot location and in order for this to be actually called every time the location is changed here, which is uh, run every time there's a new containment. So at boot as well, it says when the location changed, connect the function adjust prefix. So each time location changes, adjust prefix is called. What does this function do then? Well, um, it checks. Uh, it checks uh, which edge we're in and does this absolutely uninteresting thing of setting the prefix to that. And which means that stuff like oxygen can um, look different depending on the side it's in. Absolutely uninteresting. Like uh, this shouldn't be any performance issue thing. So. I mean, we can take it completely off to show you that it will change nothing. Um, let's actually try this out. Uh, this is Plasma Desktop, isn't it? I've lost my file, where is my file? This is Plasma Desktop, as you can see here. So let's go into Plasma Desktop, thank you. Plasma Desktop, uh, to build it. So build uh, KDE workspace plasma desktop and then make install. 
Okay, it's compiled. So we source the prefix and restart Plasma Shell. In this way, we can see that uh, doesn't matter um, that changing the prefix is actually a um, completely useless uh, feature as far as Breeze goes. But of course, third party themes need that. So it's not like we can actually just remove it altogether. So we've got our panel. Thank you. And you can see that still works, still works and still incredibly slow at changing the screen's side. So pretty to look at. So, we actually managed to break it. Look at here. It's floating. It's accidentally floating. Yay. Let's, uh, I don't know, drag it to the bottom and then bottom again. Now it's fixed. This code does seem really fragile. So, uh, this function is useless. What we're really interested uh, in is the containment. And particularly everything that depends on uh, location. Uh, there's not a single location in here. So how does this know if it's vertical or not? Why are we using plasmoid form factor instead of location? I have no clue. Plasmoid. What's plasmoid in, in this context? Why can't QML Okay, so uh, fair enough, I, I guess it tells me the package, but still pretty useless. So, root is horizontal, okay. Uh -huh. It's actually fairly easy, I mean, uh, it's what you would expect. This is just uh, having the widgets inside of the panel. So what it does is you have a row, which becomes a column when you change the size and gets back to being arrow after that. And nothing weird. And of course, I mean, I, I cannot uh, debug the fact that it's slow because most of it is probably from the widgets themselves, uh, which uh, need to repaint them as horizontal or vertical depending on the screen side. So I do understand the code better now. There is probably plasmoid form factor depending on the panel's location somehow. I don't know in this case how it's done. Uh, I don't remember at all how this works. <coughs> so there's probably more to it. Uh, I'm not particularly expert of these things, but I'm happy that I managed to see a bit more of how it works under the hood. Is there anything else that might interest, uh, interest us? Let me see. We could give a look to, because I mean, the panel view, this has to do something, the C++ code to resize, like, no, what if I search for location here? So something does happen here. So when panel view location changed, it starts a timer called the position panel timer, which is set to 150 milliseconds. Now, quick question. What? <laughs> what does this do? Let's uh, try to find out. So, restore might have been called directly 
at which point we don't still need a timer. We also start when adapt to screen and that's it. Ah, sorry, I missed this. When the panel uh, hard, the timer times out, call restore. Okay, so that's interesting. Let's search what this whoops, uh, whoops, whoops, restore function is. Okay, let's zoom in. Okay, so all the defaults are based on whatever the current values, so it won't be worth the reset after a screen resolution change. Alignment is not resolution dependent, but if fails to read it from the resolution dependent one as the place for this config key, it's changed to plasma 5.9. Do not use red config value with fallback. This very much sounds like a poem in some uh, dark, uh, forgotten language. <laughs> but if fails, read it from the resolution dependent one as the place for this config key is changed in plasma. What? I am a bit tired, so it's probably my brain not functioning, functioning correctly. So here's some, here is something interesting going on. Set alignment. So this is setting the alignment, which is more in line with what we see here, which is called form factor, which is completely different from alignment. Uh, never mind that. So there's alignment. Okay, then all the other values are read from screen independent values, but fallback on the screen independent section, as is the only place, is safe to directly write during Plasma Startup, as there can be resolution changes. Another good sounding point. I'm offset, read config value with fallback offset. Okay, makes sense. It's reading the offset uh, compared to the center, I guess, or whatever it's aligned. Set thickness. Okay, so basically every time you change, this seems unnecessary. Every time you change the screen edge, it re reads, writes, reads all of the saved values again, but why? But I mean, it's probably in, there's a timer to do this 150 milliseconds after you actually change the screen side. I am confused. Screen size, blah, 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 set, blah, blah, blah. Uh, fix me, an invalid size doesn't work with Q, Q windows. Okay. Const inside, blah, blah, blah. We do have form factor here. Const int max size equals size minus offset. Then we've got the max length and the min length. These are all values that you can customize in the panel config thing. Panel visibility is not resolution dependent, but if it falls, fails to read it from the resolution, the resolution dependent one, as the place for this config key is changed in Plasma 5.1, 5.9. Do not use read config value with fallback. Okay, so we set the visibility mode, which is you know how to hide, do not how to hide those things. The opacity mode, normal stuff. We announced that we finished the init. We finally resized the panel. So 150 milliseconds after moving it, I can see why it's slow. I mean, 150 milliseconds of uh, delay is not optimal. And then position panel. Then you emit that everything has changed and you stop the 
timer. Interesting. So I've got a bunch of questions here. The first of which, what happens if I lower this interval? It doesn't sound like it's a good idea because honestly, I don't think that's the issue. But I wonder what happens. It's just out of curiosity. Let me try. So this is Plasma Frameworks, so we need to build that one. So Dolphin, new tab. Plasma Workspace, make install minus J6. Okay, we're done. So again, we source the prefix. And I am getting annoyed that my timer has been reset. I was counting time with a timer. I'm mildly annoyed. Uh, what was it? Um, it's five o'clock, so let's result plasma shell while I try to remember. Uh, it was 70 before I replaced plasma shell around that, which was, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. I don't remember. Okay. Let's say if I started at five o'clock, which is probably true. Let's rotate this. Um, ah, here's the bug I was talking about. It's broken. It's probably related to the fact that I took off that, uh, the, I, I, may, I made the timer slower. Because when you think about it, it also changed size. When you think about it, uh, that code that we've seen saves the length of the panel and the offset as part of it, which means that if you manage to screw up somehow with changing the side of the panel and then maybe doing it again and changing it exactly when it was saving the length, but then it saves the wrong alignment, I mean screen side, that might be the, a problem not necessarily the problem, but it's incredible how fast it is to do this and just how slow to do this. It must be the updates inside of it, no? It must be. Also this bug, what is, is this the actual look of the config window when you're on the side. See, it's much smaller. So there's also that bug as well. So go down. Okay. So let's set the timer back to what it was. My second um, question is, so I reckon that this restore function is used in many places and not just to change the screen edge. But what if, just for the sake of trying right now, we took off anything but resizing and changing the panel position. Like this, it won't even save the, uh, the new position. So if you like restart Plasma Shell, it won't save it say the fact that you changed it. But I'm wondering, does it change anything? Please know that at this point, I'm just doing random stuff just to see what, I, I'm not expecting to fix anything like this. It's just changing random values, taking off parts and see what's the difference that it actually makes to better understand how the code works. Okay, let's try to restart Plasma Shell. And 
let's see what what happens probably nothing but nothing is the most important most interesting result that we can get so no hurry okay so maybe okay so interesting we actually broke it i did of course it broke i just removed any way for it to actually read the values from your configuration file of the panel when it's actually starting up for the first time so yeah of course it won't work makes sense But, uh, okay, but I um, mean, it's, it's something we learned and that's useful. With uh, this side, okay, so that makes sense. And uh, containment from factor Fair. is not changed in here, I think. So it's the it's the one that follows the location that we've seen in the other file, the containment view. Okay, so one last thing. First of all, I need to recompile the working uh, panel because I, you know, actually need panels, and it really seems like. It's all about the QML widgets that are slow to resize from one orientation to another. And, uh, you know, also the actual background SVG of the panel seems to be pretty slow at updating. But it's very weird that the actual speed at which that is done is so inconsistent. Like sometimes it uh, changes from bottom to right in a reasonable time. Sometimes it's just so slow. I have no idea. If there were an easy fix, it would have been fixed already. So it's, I, I wasn't actually expecting to fix anything, but there was this bug report here screen edge button loose grab while moving panel and then also panel sometimes gets shortened or remains floating in space when blah 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 and i was wondering why is this so broken what's going on so I, now i know a bit better of the code i should go on and keep investigating stuff because there's clearly a need to however it's late uh, I don't have my panel anymore and this video is probably too long already so how about we all go like you go sleep or something and I go studying because that's what <laughs> I'm tired but I have to study so for one last time before I finish up this video beautiful beautiful Mm-hmm. <sighs>